Sana Flute is a former Victoria's Secret model turned fitness and wellness influencer who now has her own website offering a variety of Pilates focused workout programs as well as nutrition challenges. Her YouTube channel has really blown up over the last few years and she's becoming very popular in the Pilates world. I have to admit, I was curious if she was actually certified or just another celebrity posting Pilates workouts on YouTube and I was pleasantly surprised to see that she definitely is a certified Pilates instructor. She completed her teacher training almost three years ago during the COVID pandemic. On her website, you can find a weekly workout schedule that includes a combination of strength, Pilates, and stretching mat workouts. And Sana has organized her workouts into playlists as well that are categorized into Pilates, strength, express, and stretch workouts, making it easy to find a workout that suits your individual needs. And you can also filter workouts by equipment, which includes light hand weights of around two pounds, heavier hand weights from five to eight pounds, resistance bands, ankle weights, and the foam roller. She does have a good selection of workout duration options. They range anywhere from five minutes to 60 minutes. Additionally, she offers a seven day meditation challenge, a two week Pilates program, a five day be beginner Pilates program, a seven day Pilates challenge, a six day strength workout program as well. Her nutrition page includes breakfast, lunch, and dinner recipes, as well as dessert recipes, and also has a seven day no sugar challenge and a 10 day nutrition challenge. You do have to pay a subscription to access her website. She charges $28 per month, or you can pay $144 for an annual membership, which comes out to about $12 per month, which I think is pretty reasonable. I tried Sana's two week Pilates program first, and it consisted of five days of Pilates mat workouts each week of around 30 minutes per day and two rest days each week. The program was a good balance of challenging but achievable, and I do feel like it's great for most fitness levels. Um, now, I did complete it in a little earlier than that two-week mark since I skipped the rest days, and I just didn't feel like they were necessary with these workouts being so low impact, so I prefer to just continue to get my workouts in every day rather than rest. But if you are just beginning Pilates, the rest days would probably be beneficial for you. Now, before I get into my thoughts on the program, I do want to point out that on her YouTube channel, she does offer free workouts and the channel also showcases some of her personal life and she, she posts like blog style videos, like what she eats in a day. And I do really enjoy watching those blog style videos because I feel that I get to know her through them on a personal level. And it also, um, for me, it makes me feel more connected when working out with her. Now, Sana, she just has a very sweet, very polite and very calming nature to her, which makes her blog videos enjoyable for me to watch. Now let's get into her workouts and her Pilates challenge. So her workouts and her Pilates program are all mat Pilates workouts. They use light hand weights as well as mini resistance bands. And I do really love that she lists all of the equipment um, that's needed underneath each workout. So I don't have to scramble and look for equipment once the workout has already started. I've totally been there with a lot of workout programs and it can be just really irritating. Now, she also mentions on some of them that you can use light ankle weights if you want to feel an extra challenge in the workouts. Now, I did find a lot of her exercises to be innovative with the way that she incorporates compound moves, making them challenging, but they, they were still no frills. And when I say no frills, I mean this in a good way, like nothing seemed overly gimmicky, but overall I found her workouts and her Pilates program to be very effective, um, even meditative thanks to her calming voice and nature. And as well as the good amount of stretching she incorporates between her sequences and I find that this gives her workouts a really good balance of strength, flexibility, and mobility. And her workouts also have a good balance of standing exercises and 
you know, true mat exercises where you're either sitting or laying on the mat. And I find this program suitable for beginners as well as intermediate level practitioners. After trying her Pilates two week challenge, I tried a week of her regular weekly workout schedule. It was definitely still very much Pilates focused and still uses the hand weights and the mini bands. She incorporated ankle weight. The main difference that I saw is that it did incorporate some heavier weight training. So for example, on one of the days, instead of using two pound weights, she used five to eight pound weights. I thought this was great as I am planning to start incorporating more resistance training into my Pilates. Resistance training helps with lean muscle retention, which is becoming just really important to me as I am turning 40 this year. And as we age, lean muscle mass tends to decline. So that has been a concern of mine as of recent. Another difference I noticed at the end of the week on Sunday, she had a stretch day, which I really love. And I felt it was the perfect way to end the workout week. Sauna Flutes workouts, I feel they're perfect for those who are interested in doing Pilates from the comfort of their own home or for those who are looking for low impact exercises to do at home. I mentioned this a couple times, but her workouts are suitable for both beginner and intermediate levels. Now, I didn't see any super advanced Pilates workouts included on her site. So if you're seeking a very, very advanced Pilates workout, which I'm not personally, but if you are, this may not be the right fit for you. However, if you prefer a more calming and soothing workout environment and enjoy combining that with strength and stretching exercises, as well as mobility, I think Sana's workouts are perfect for that. By now, I've been doing Pilates mat workouts at home for a full three months. And at this point, I, I feel like a different person. My back pain that used to bother me to the point where it would just keep me up all night, it's non-existent now. My strength has come back after a long break from not working out consistently. And I even noticed my skin to me, it just looks more vibrant than it did three months ago. And I feel like I stand taller, that my posture has really improved. And I have slimmed down without having to do intense workout like I used to experience when I lifted heavy weights. And I just remember back then just feeling so sore all the time. And with Pilates, my body just feels so limber and relaxed as well as feeling strong and energized. And on top of this, I just look forward to working out every day because I actually enjoy workouts like this, which has helped me establish a consistent workout routine again. So I'm just so happy with where I am now, both mentally as well as physically. Now I wanna go over some of my measurements and results. So my starting measurements, my bust was 35.5 inches, my waist was 28 inches, and my hips were 38.5 inches. And my ending measurements, my bust is 34.5 inches, my waist is 26.75 inches, and my hips are 36.5 inches. And at the time of filming this video, I am 124.6 pounds, which is down 10 pounds from when I started Pilates on December 1st. And my body fat has also gone down in percentage from 23% to 22%. Now, I do go really in depth on my results in my last video, um, my DEXA scan video, so I'll link that below. I do have some concerns that I also address in that video. Um, the main one being I did lose some muscle mass. So if you want more details, make sure to check out that video as well as my recent video um, that I posted outlining my entire three month Pilates journey so far, which um, I'll also link that below in the description. If you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye everyone.